All right, so I've uh, never done an unboxing video before, but I figured it might be fun to uh, take you along on this exciting adventure with me. I uh, made a big purchase in uh, January, so this was uh, about four months ago now, and it finally just came in the mail. Uh, so this is a really big, scary investment for me, so I'm hoping I didn't make the wrong choice. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking this out, and uh, without further ado, let's get on with this unboxing. Uh, if I have shaky hands a little bit, I'm really, really pumped out, pumped up about this. I've been uh, been waiting a while. If you have a guess what this is, make sure to leave a comment uh, in the comment section and we'll see if you're right at the end. The size and shape of this should give it away a little bit. All right, that should be everything for in the box. Any guesses yet? Saved up a long time for this. I'm just savoring the moment. <laughs> All right, let's see how it looks. There it is. So this just came in the uh, back of a cargo truck, so it's a little bit cold. It's uh, April here and it's still only about three degrees outside. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of time to warm up before I try and uh, get some sound running through it, but I'll get you a few close-ups to look at and uh, hopefully a little sound sample later in this video. So I guess I should explain a little bit of what this is. Um, this is a chanter that I had um, a pipe maker by the name of Hendrik Morgenbroek. Came all the way from Germany. Uh, I placed my order in January and uh, just got it shipped today, which is uh, April 19th. Uh, so very good turnaround time in that regards. Uh, first impressions, this, this thing looks very, very nice. Um, very different feeling to my uh, my current chanter. Um, so I ordered, uh, it's a fully keyed chanter, so it's four keys, fully chromatic. Uh, I got his optional tuning slide, so this is a little tuning pin that will uh, slide the reed up and down and help with some quick tuning. Um, yeah, it's an ebony chanter, and uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. Let's get this running soon. All right, so it's the next day now. I've had a uh, little bit of time to fart around with the new chanter. Uh, definitely feels a little different than mine. The reed's a bit stronger, so I'm just having to relearn some of my pressures and where things are happiest at. 
Um, yeah, I'll just give you some quick sound samples of both of the chanters. I'm curious to see if the mic will pick up the differences. So yeah, this will, this first one is my old chanter. It's my David Day Penny chanter. And then uh, I'll just switch the chanters out really quick and you'll be able to hear the new Morgan Broke chanter. Um, I'm not going to put any uh, ambiance or effect on this video, so it's just going to be straight, uh, straight sound through the mic. So again, that was the uh, David Day Penny Chanter. So that's a Delrin Plastic Chanter. 